Phoenix. Really awesome vertical shooter game that was developed by M Star Electronics back in 1980. Ironically enough, uh, M Star Electronics is actually was based in Phoenix, Arizona. So that's kind of cool. The game was released by Centuri in the United States and by Taito in Japan. The game was available in an upright or cocktail table version, and it also featured five different rounds of gameplay. So in round one, you would fight a formation of little alien birdies that would try to fly down and crash into your ship or shoot you. If you got past this level, you would go into round two, which is basically the, the same kind of uh, level as round one. However, this time, your ship can fire even faster, which makes it a little bit easier. As you play the game and you destroy more and more of these little birds out of the formation, they speed up and get more aggressive at trying to kamikaze you. Now in round three, we start off with these flying eggs on the screen that eventually hatch and become these big alien birds, uh, the maxi phoenixes. These birds will try to swoop down and crash into the player or shoot them. And you have to hit them directly in the center on their belly. You shoot off one of their wings and it'll just... It'll still come after you regardless. It won't destroy it. You shoot both wings, the uh, wings will grow back on their own. Then in round four, it's very similar to round three, the previous round, but this time the birds are a different color and they're a little bit more aggressive and their attack pattern has changed. And then finally in round five, you're actually pitted against the alien mothership. And you see this little bug type guy sitting right in the middle that's hiding behind this like conveyor force field. And the object is to shoot through the bottom of the base, through that little conveyor shield, and hit that little alien dude in there. Now what's really neat is, this is one of the first arcade games to have an actual boss level in it. Way before they actually termed the uh, phrase boss level. Once you get past this round, round 5, the game starts all over again, but even faster and faster. The controls for this game was uh, very simple. We had a right and left push button. We had a fire button, and we had a shield button. Now, a couple of things I really like about Phoenix the Arcade Game is the graphics on the screen. I really like the scrolling star field in the background, and I think it's kind of neat how the ship kind of looks like it's walking back and forth as you uh, go right and left at the bottom of the screen. The side art on the arcade cabinet is pretty awesome as well. I love to have a t-shirt like this. The game also has a couple uh, musical numbers in there, when the game first starts, it's playing the song known as Spanish Romance. Or in other words, it's also called Romance de Amor. Now when you destroy the alien commander in that base, you'll hear Fur Elise by Beethoven. It's kind of neat that they, they got this kind of music in here. It's a, a kind of unique mix of the two. Now let's take a look at some of the arcade gameplay. And I'll talk about the game as I play it. All right. Let's get this game started. Round one. I really like the gameplay of this uh, arcade game. I like how erratic the little Phoenix Burks fly around. It makes the game really challenging. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> like that shield effect as well. You can also shoot while your shield is active. You just can't move. Now here's round two, where you have double shots. Makes this level a little bit easier. Oh, I'm down. Now you notice that little uh, explosion there? When the enemy is flying back up the screen at an angle, you get bonus points. Here's a round three. The maxi Phoenix birds. Whoa. whoa. Yeah. As you can see, it, it's very challenging to hit those crazy things. There's round four. The pink Maxi Phoenix Birds. Whoa! Yeah. And now 
Well, round five. The enemy mother base. Now, my strategy is to stay here towards the center. Just keep shooting straight up the middle. Well, dodging these crazy little birds. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, extra life. Cool. Oh! Yeah! Now right, here's that Beethoven music playing. And then the game starts over again at a higher level. Notice the formation changed as well. Pretty cool game. Now let's take a look at the Atari 2600 version. So here's round one on the Atari 2600 version. Atari did a pretty good job with this game. Here's round two. With the limited hardware of the Atari, they did a good job translating this arcade game to the home console. Here's round three. You'll notice that the birds don't start off as eggs. They come out full grown right off the bat. Whoa. This is pretty much the only home port of Phoenix on the uh, classic consoles. Almost there. There we go. Here's the mother base. Not a, not too bad looking. And they've got all the elements here. They don't have the uh, enemy birds flying around, but it's still challenging enough with as many shots that crazy things throw out there. Yes! So awesome. So that was Phoenix, a really awesome arcade game from the early 1980s. One of my favorites. Thanks for watching.